Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and uh, if you're a regular to this channel, you know that earlier this week I did an article on free alternatives to commercial graphic applications, and I covered a wide uh, swath of uh, applications and what you could find that you could use for free. So for example, we got applications like Photoshop, and we got alternatives to them, Illustrator, Flash, and so on. And one area that I covered was film, and in that area I mentioned DaVinci Resolve, Blender, and OpenShot, and I have to say there is one overwhelmingly uh, recommended program that I missed off this list. So hey, it gets its own video. And today what we are talking about is uh, KDE and Live. And I'm gonna actually, I have no idea how to say that just so I can annoy the maximum number of people by mispronouncing something. I'm gonna call this Caden Live for the rest of this interview. So Caden here uh, is a free open source video editor. Now the first part of the name should tell you something. KDE as in the desktop environment. Uh, they seem to be at least the inspiration behind this project. Uh, it's updated quite regularly. So August 16th was the last release. So that was just a couple weeks ago as of the time this video went up. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, I don't need a Linux video. Video editor. Well, actually, it is available for Linux, it is available for Windows as well, which is actually kind of nice. And you can run it under Mac OS, but uh, the work is on you, or you use Mac ports for that. In terms of features, it is a pretty full functioning multi track video editing solution. So if you need a free video editor, Caden might be a good choice for you. So now we're going to jump in hands on with Caden and uh, check what things look like. So here we go. Uh, here, ignore laughing Nicolas Cage. And here you have the Caden video environment. It's pretty straightforward. If you've done any video editing, you can get like up and running with this guy in about 20 seconds, which is about how long it took me uh, to get familiar with this guy. You'll notice over here, you've got a number of different profiles based on what kind of workflow you're doing. You can automatically reorganize the environment based on that. So if you're adding special effects, you can do here. If you're recoloring, you can do here. Or if you are editing the video, you can go here to editing. For those of you that do not appreciate your eyeballs, you also have the option of uh, blowing them out. So if you prefer blown out eyeballs, uh, that is an option. There are a few themes available here. I like Breeze High Contrast personally, and that's what we are looking at today. So how do you use such a beast? Well, it's very simple, at least on the surface. What we're going to need is a couple of video sources. So what we've got here, we have an MP3 file, we have a move file, and we have another move file. Now the cool thing about this one, this was a test I did, this is an alpha channel move file. So this is great for uh, transposing special effects over other channels because it has transparent in it. So we're just going to grab those three items and we will drop it into our bin. There you go. So we got the music selected. You can see a preview of it here. The movie selected. You can see a preview of it right here and so on and so forth. So now we've got a number of different tracks down here uh, on our track editor. So if we want to bring in our video source, we could bring in video source number one like so. And here is our movie. By the way, this comes from a stock footage thing that I subscribe to. And you can preview what it looks like. So there is your video as it stands. Pretty cool. Uh, now we're going to do some special effects with that guy. So let's layer on um, our explosion over top. So we're going to drop this on the channel above it, like so. And we're going to just trim down the timeline so it matches our other one. Cool. So now we've got, boom. And there is our special effect over top. Pretty, uh... Pretty straightforward and clean so far. Uh, pretty cool, you can go forward and back. You can scrub in the timeline here. Uh, you can edit and add in the timeline down here. If you want to keep adding to the clips, you could do so. So we go timeline here and we could go tracks and we can add a um, another track on top. So we're gonna insert a track. It's gonna pick what kind. So we're gonna do above uh, video two. That works for me and we'll make this one a video track. Sure, track name is uh, title graphic. Spell it wrong. All right, there we go. So we now have a new layer on top here. We can do a number of different uh, things here. So we can create, uh, let's say we go over here, we can do compositions, we can do special effects. We'll get back, we'll do some special effects in a second. But what I want to do is create a new, uh, I think it's here, so tracks. No, one second. All right, so what I gotta do is switch back to my project bin here. And instead of bringing in a source, I'm gonna right click here and we're gonna add a new title clip like so, and we'll do this one, sure. Whatever text you got selected, that's fine. We'll go into the world here and we will say war. War changes a lot. All right, there we go. We could change the size of that, like so. All right, works for me. White works for me. Okay, we're good to go. We can move that guy around there. So it's pretty much centered in the frame. You can actually center using controls over here, but I'm good with what we got. And we'll create our title. So there we got war, war changes a lot. It added onto, oh, it's not added yet. Let's, okay, let's add that back in. So here we got our new title track over top. And there you go. 
So there is our video. We probably don't want to start that right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect on that one. Uh, so let's do a motion fade in and we'll drop it on our track right there. So you can see we've got a fade in effect. Now we're going to go ahead and see that. And we're going to see our text fades in. War. War changes a lot. There you go. So we've got our video going on. The last thing you probably want to do with your video is, well, let's look at these two channels. We have audio one and audio two. What could we possibly do with those? Well, I don't know. Let's go to the project being here. And we shall bring in a track. Now, I think this is an MP3 track. Yes, it is. So just drop that in here. And boom. Now, what you may want to do is copy and paste it so that it lasts the entire... I hope that's a loop. I'm not sure. So there we go. We now have audio to go with our project. Our project is darn near finished. You can see a preview of it up there at the top. Now, this looks like kind of grainy old world footage. Let's do a special effect on top of that. So we'll effect... Uh, and you would think grain and noise, but it's not. It's actually stylized that we want, and we're going to drop an old film, and we'll just drop old film on top of that, and there you go. There is our effect. As you see, there's tons of special effects we could do here. Uh, we've got things for doing composition, so if we had multiple clips on here, we could do fades between them, blends, and so on, uh, but we're not going to get into that level of detail here. We're basically just going to show you a quick overview of how to make a simple video, and you can do cuts, so you can do quick edits on a video, so if I wanted to make this video, for example, I could go ahead and say, okay, we'll cut at the line here, uh, so cut there, and now I have two videos. So if I wanted to, I could now drop a uh, transition in between those two particular cuts. Also, what you'll notice is I also have the ability to undo, which is always nice for this kind of thing. So there we go. We've created our video. Now, the last question you may have is how long does it take? So we've got a six-minute video here we just produced. Now let's go ahead, and we can get into, again, audio mixing. Um, we've got some special effects on audio side of things. We're not going to get into that level of detail here. All we're going to do now is actually produce our video and that is done one of these guys. So where are you? Uh, come on, buddy. To where are okay, project and render. All right, so here we go. We can create our project right now. As you'll see, there are a number of different options here. So we can code, code this out to uh, WebM, MP4, MP2, uh, MP4, MPEG2. We can make an animated GIF if we really want. We've got a number of different options here. Uh, and what we'll just do, we'll stick with the WebM. Sure, I'm fine with that. Uh, we can render that out to file. We can pick the location for it. So let's go ahead and we will, instead of doing desk, uh, instead of uh, the always selected. So uh, my awesome video about tanks. All right, there we go. So we're going to create a WebM device, and this is going to give you an idea how long. So this is a six-second uh, clip running on, so what is this thing, a 9750 uh, with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a 2070 GPU. And you can see here, it's not the fastest uh, renderer ever, uh, but it is done. What was that, 17 seconds there? Um, and you can double-click here, by the way, and here is... I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. So that is Caden Live. Uh, of course, it's probably not called Caden. I just appreciate that. Um, it's an open source project. Any more details of that? So if you want to check out uh, Caden Live and download it yourself, uh, you can grab it at cadenlive.org. Also, this is an open source project. Uh, it's under the GPL v2 license. Um, it is updated pretty commonly. So um, if you want to build it from source, you do have that option. Um, it works for the, a number of different tool chains out there. Again, GPL v2. Uh, there are nightly builds available if you want to go ahead and grab one of those. And that is that, a free and open source video editor based on the MLT framework and the KDE Frameworks 5. Um, it, it works. It's solid. It, it uh, hasn't crashed for me. Performance isn't kind of up to snuff as, say, something like... Uh, I use Camtasia on a daily basis. I hit film, uh, DaVinci Resolve, and so on. Most of those render a bit faster than this guy. Uh, but for a free and open source project, let's just say it's a heck of a lot easier to use than Blender as a video editor. Uh, I actually find the uh, the process and the experience really straightforward. It's, you know, you hunt around menus a little bit because it's not a tool you use on a daily basis. And I'm really just kind of touching on the basics of what you can do in this guy. Uh, but 
Uh, it's fairly intuitive and easy to pick up. I showcased in this particular demonstration what like 90% of you need to know to make a video. Uh, really, that there's not a lot more to it. And it was pretty straightforward, I think you saw. Uh, so that is Caden Live. Again, it's available open source, available for Windows and Mac. And then if you uh, get it from Mac ports, available for Windows as well. And again, if you didn't check it out already, do be sure to check out the free alternatives to commercial graphic apps. If you're looking for other programs like uh, Caden Live, uh, there are a number of options out there. And I know a couple of you other made other suggestions. OpenShot was one of them. Uh, there was a uh, dark table alternative. I, I saw all your comments and they are noted for potential future videos. Uh, but again, the one that definitely jumped out the most as missing uh, was Caden Live. So I did this video. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.